Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette here. I want to talk about two things on C5 Corvettes that are going to save you a lot of money. Number one, you have dual fuel tanks in these cars now, and these cars are getting to be 20 years old. You have to run Tektron. It's a Chevron product. It's recommended. We recommend about, you know, every two to 3,000 miles. Now you can put it in with every tank just a little bit, measure it out. You do the calculations. I don't feel like doing math. But it is good advice because we have right here a Z06 that needed new fuel senders. Now the problem is, is we can't get parts for these anymore. We had to get parts from a Cadillac XLR to make them work. They're, they seem to be uh, fully compatible, but a lot of the Corvette parts are not available at this point, uh, OEM. And this is what the OEM pumps look like. But this Tektron here, and I'm, I'm not a I'm not I'm not a salesman for Tektron, but it's good stuff, and I I'm gonna I'm gonna push products that work and save you time, money, and grief. So every 2,000 miles, maybe you know a small amount in every tank full will save you a lot of problems. It's going to clean the fuel injection system, but it's also going to lubricate uh, the the sending units in here and and keep those pumps uh, clean as well. The other thing I want to talk about is batteries. Change your battery in your C5. Now a lot of guys will run the, the dry cell batteries in them. I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the manufacturers, but these cars were designed for lead acid batteries. Nothing wrong with that unless you decide not to change it and it goes five years, you know, ten years or whatever and starts leaking acid. I'm going to tell you a quick story. Last month we had a C5 that came in and it was a nice clean car had it up on the lift and I could see on the right frame rail it had corrosion and you know it looked like lead acid uh, corrosion coming dripping down and it was evidence on the frame rail itself and I told my salesman I don't want the car and he, he was mad he said this is a great car I could use it for inventory I said I don't want it and at that point I had the mechanics pull the battery and it was it was just badly corroded under that battery tray there's a harness and the lead acid leaks right onto it. So you have to keep those batteries fresh and not let them leak down. Those two things, if you do that on your C5, it'll go 250,000 miles with, with other common maintenance. But those are the two Achilles tendons on these uh, heels on these cars and, and you just have to pay attention to it. And if you do, you'll be much happier. Hey, thanks for watching.